Well, meanwhile, the FBI just released a statement blasting the newly released Twitter file saying, quote, the FBI provides critical information to the private sector in an effort to allow them to protect themselves and their customers, but we never direct or ask them to take action. It is unfortunate that conspiracy theorists and others are feeding the American public misinformation with the sole purpose of attempting to discredit the agency. Uh, Brent Bozell joins us. Now, Brent, I love the FBI. I want to put that out front. First and foremost, they have done incredible work against crime syndicates and drug dealers, et cetera. But the, the idea that it's conspiracy theories uh, that, are, that are driving the information that was in the Twitter files, specifically regarding misinformation that the FBI was providing about who might be responsible for the Hunter Biden story, it, it, that's really insulting, isn't it? It is. You know, I, I just hope if and when Congress gets around to doing its job, which is which I don't know if it will ever do its job like we just heard. <laughs> but if and when it does its job and investigates Twitter, I hope they will look at that statement they just put out yeah. because that was classic disinformation. That was no, knowingly they told yet another lie. They have been participating in this. Let's go back. We need to understand the importance of Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden is the reason Joe Biden won for the simple reason that had the Hunter Biden story been told, we have proven it, that in the seven swing states where there was where they where the election was close, 54 percent of Joe Biden's supporters knew nothing about Hunter Biden. And when we told them about Hunter Biden, 9.4 percent said they would not have voted for Biden. Donald Trump would have won Nevada, Georgia, Arizona, Pennsylvania, uh, uh, North Carolina, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Would have won every single state, 300 and, electoral, and 11 electoral votes. The FBI knew this. The left mm -hmm. knew how mm -hmm. strong this was. So before it came out, they did everything in their power to discredit it. They, uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg has admitted it, that the FBI, the Justice Department, told them and pressured him not to say anything, not to allow anything, right. and he abided by what right. they did. So for them to come out now and say, well, we just gave information out there on this information. First, it's none of your damn job to be doing that. Right. And, oh, number and, two, and by the way, by the way, did. it's certainly not their job to be paying Twitter three and a half million dollars for the work oh, yeah. that they're doing. For the, I mean, that's really a violation of the First Amendment. I got to talk. We David, only have 30 David, seconds, David. Brent. Brent, Brent, we David, only have 30 seconds. I have bribery. to talk about the culpability it, of the media in all this, because the media claims that they care about uh, civil liberties and so forth, but clearly everything that we're hearing in the Twitter files is exactly the same stuff going on during Watergate, in which they went ballistic about. You have the FBI, the CIA sending out misinformation to the media. I mean, that's the politicalization of these institutions is what Watergate was about. Why aren't they reacting the same now as they did then? Quickly. Very, very simple. The New York Post came out with that story. Anybody who was interested could have gone to the New York Post and said, let's see what you got on there. And they would have seen it and they would have run it as well. The New York Times took two years before they said, yeah, you know, everything was true there. Right. If they were serious about journalism, serious about getting to the truth, every media outlet would have looked at this. And we've shown you study after study where they refuse to cover. And now they're refusing to cover the Twitter. Do you know you guys are the only ones? that are covering this Twitter story? It's, a, it's extraordinary. Yeah. It's no just extraordinary. It. Brent Bozell, we got to leave it at that. Great to see you, Brent. Thank you so much. Excellent Merry stuff. Christmas. Have, Merry Christmas to you as well.